Welcome back to JMuddy93. I am Jeremy Warner. So today what we are doing is we are installing the Harbor Freight Badlands Apex 5500 short drum winch on my 2018 Can-Am Outlander 850XMR. If you can, please like and subscribe if you like what you see and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyhow, let's get to the video. All right, so what we got here is the Apex Badlands winch. And this is from Harbor Freight. And shockingly, this is a, a really great winch. Also, I want to point out too, and shows it on the box here, it is the short drum winch. I went with the short drum because it has the same bolt pattern as your current Can-Am winch mount. So this winch mount here that comes with it, I'm not really going to be using that. So, you know, I think it's great they provide a winch mount. Uh, it comes with a remote. It's not wireless. It plugs into a wire harness, which the wire harness is down here. I'm not going to be using that. And then also it comes with a rocker switch. I'm not really going to be using that either because... Uh, Pretty much everything I got with my current winch is set up the way I need it. And then also they give you a new relay, a big massive beefy tow hook, and then uh, they give you boots to put over the wire harness for the winch. They give you a brand new fair lead. I am going to start using synthetic winch rope because if it snaps it mainly drops. And then also too, they give you a brand new wire harness, like they give you pieces of the wire harnesses to go to the relays, batteries, everything that you basically need. Now, one other thing too, and I had this in the past on a player winch that I got stock from the factory because I used to have a sportsman, but uh, that's metal. Everything on here is freaking metal. Like, even the end caps on this thing are metal. Uh, again, showing the synthetic winch rope. Also, too, it comes with a battery shutoff going to the winch when you're not actually riding and everything else. So that's a little nice to have. Uh, Basically, you got everything you need if you want to actually set up this winch from scratch. In this situation, I'm not going to be doing that. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is I'm basically going to be using this winch and bolting it straight in to where the old winch used to be. So, anyhow, one other thing I want to point out is that... So, what this winch is rated for it has an IP69K water stream up to 1450 pounds per square inch for of pressure so you could actually have your winch get sprayed with a pressure washer it's not going to get damaged and then also too it has the IP68 dust proof waterproof rating which is one of the highest rating winches out there on the market. It comes with a quarter inch by 27 feet synthetic rope and then also it comes with the wired roof, wired wrench remote and the dash switch which I'm not going to be using those. Uh, line speed comes with 18.4 feet per minute rating and then on the box here Is the highest well I already went through that but I just want to point that out and then specifications the mounting bolt pattern is 3 inch by 4.8 which is basically the same bolt pattern as your Can-Am winch mount but then all these other specifications and stuff like that that that'll be up to you to read uh, if you want you can actually pause the video and just read it. I'm not really going to go into details but also pretty much when you look at everything that shows internally on the winch 
it has some of the same features as any kind of worn winch that's out there on the market. So, honestly, I think it's the best winch for the money. Uh, I know that there's a super winch that Super ATV makes. I want to go with that, but when you look at it, you really want something that just plugs and plays. You really don't want to modify anything. So that's my point of view on why I bought this winch. comes with the same bolt pattern. So anyhow, let's get this installed. I just want to add that I am removing the tire for easy accessibility to where I'm going to be installing the winch. You don't have to do that, but it's highly recommended. So what I figured out here is that it's actually a really tight fit into the OEM mounting bracket. So you actually have to do some modifications to that bracket. So this tab here is causing issues where the winch body doesn't actually fit through. I honestly don't need this tab for anything, so I might as well just cut a part of it and see if I can actually get the winch to fit in there. So anyhow, let's get cutting. So I am using the Dremel here to actually make a cut down along the side of the uh, bracket there. That way I can actually cut it out a certain way with the uh, angle grinder. So right here I chose my angle grinder with the cutoff wheel because uh, I could actually turn the angle grinder and cut off the majority of the bracket so then I can actually try to actually fit this winch in. Alright, so what I did since I had these tabs blocking the way, they don't really affect the frame structural integrity. So on both sides we cut the tabs off the frame already test fitted the winch they fit properly now I'm just gonna get these painted a little touched up with a 3M undercoat and we should be all set to go so our brackets we had to cut them I didn't think it was gonna come down to actually needing to cut anything so the winch can actually fit I did bend the bracket a little bit but now we should have plenty of room to actually get that Badlands Apex 5500 winch in and it should bolt right into those holes there. So anyhow, let's get this bolted in. As you can see, it didn't exactly fit in there perfectly, but now bolts it on in. So pretty much we just have it bolted down for now because uh, we want everything to work right. All right, so next we're going to uh, plug in our cables. Let's see if this winch actually works. All right, just to make sure this thing works, it should. Weird. 
but it does work. So to close out this video, I, I will say this, I am pretty impressed with the winch. Even though I haven't been actually able to use this winch, but hopefully next season I'll actually use it once or twice so you can actually see it in action. But anyhow, please like and subscribe if you like what you see and stay tuned for more videos.